Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I'm actually feeling really, really chatty and want to do, I don't know, just to get ready with me for me to go eat lunch <laughs> at my kitchen table and just chit chat. And I hope that sounds good to you. If it does, keep on watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So let me know how you're doing in the chat. I am feeling good, but I just felt like chatting. I was going to do another look with my, what is it called? Love's Journey palette from Sydney Grace, but I'm actually going to do a little shop my stash and get ready with me and just my little updated makeup routine as well. So I guess we should dive right in. Let me just tell you what I have on my face. Right now, I did do my brows. I used the Patrick Ta Major Lamination Gel, Major Brow. And then for primer, I am using this YSL uh, New Moisturizing Balm. That's what it looks like. And uh, I'm just going to be in here, so... I didn't put any sunscreen on. I guess I'll do that before I leave because we do have karate today. I'm gonna start with concealer. Oh, and I need a headband, so let me grab that. So I do have some definite topics we are going to get into in this video. Let me pull up my notes. Yes, okay. So for concealer, I'm using my Dior Forever Skin Correct, which is my favorite. And so a lot of you know that oh, I just got back from Vegas and we had a family vacation. And y'all, it was so nice. Like it's definitely busy traveling with kids, but I just feel so blessed that I have like the opportunity to take them on a trip. You know what I mean? I'm, I just feel really blessed about that. And I was so happy that both my mom and dad uh, were on the trip and that we were able to like be with family. And I have family on both sides that live in California and they were both in Vegas. So it was just great. I have a little that. That's okay, we all, that happens. Our flight was delayed about five hours. I'm not gonna go into too much of it because I am doing a vlog video with this that I'm in the process of editing. They switched our gate at the last minute. So what ended up happening was when they switched the gate, they didn't bother to put anybody's bags on the plane. So when we got to Vegas, there were 130 bags missing, which didn't they realize the plane didn't have any bags, you know, but whatever. One of the things that I took away, oh, I forgot to do a crucial step. One of the things that I took away from uh, that trip was just the fact that we were able to keep the trip going and the kids didn't know. Like we didn't really miss out on anything with the trip and that made me so happy. Like the boys didn't even know anything was missing. I mean, I knew, but the boys didn't know. This is my Sandy Cheeks blush from Mel and this is my polished blush. And uh, you'll see what I do with this, but this is like my new uh, routine because I like to have a kind of flush looking under eye and I almost forgot that step. Long story short, our bags came a couple days later and we had a great trip and we were thinking that we were going to get reimbursed, but uh, that did not happen. Well, it didn't happen for all of us. They covered some medications that I had to purchase, but that was pretty much it in one receipt. So we're dealing with that. I think it's so crazy because their policy is that they don't cover anything within the first 24 hours. And I'm like, but isn't the first 24 hours the time when you may need something the most? Because if it does come the next day, you're good. But like, what were we supposed to do, especially with kids, just sit in and, and do nothing? You know, that's what my thought was. But I guess if that was the case, they would probably be covering a lot of um, receipts. So I thought that was kind of messed up, but I do love me some Southwest Airlines and well, I haven't had any problems. This is polished. I'd like to put this on the outside here. Uh, I'll continue, you know, to travel Southwest and Marky, you know, would not have it any other way. 
So Vegas was great. And I just want to say thank you. A lot of people were like, I hope you have a great time and things like that. I thought that was really nice. So thank you all. So you see it's like a little pinky flush, but it's not too much. I love doing this. This is like my new routine. Stay tuned for that vlog because it's coming. There's like two hours worth of footage and I definitely don't want the video to be two hours. So I'm just working on editing it and I, I hope you all will enjoy it because we had a really, really nice time. Okay, moving on. I just got off a of training and I'm gonna be the fourth grade math teacher. I was gonna say new fourth grade math teacher, but we are departmentalizing. So I'm just teaching math, which I'm kind of excited about, but I don't know how much I like the idea of not having like my class all day because I feel like we just always have such a vibe, but I'm open to this new opportunity and it may be less planning for me. I'm not sure, but I feel like it is because we got a brand new curriculum. What we had before was teacher created and uh, no offense um, because I am a teacher, but that curriculum just didn't have everything that a teacher needed. And I like that we are going with a curriculum called Reveal Math, which is by McGraw-Hill. There are so many resources as well as an online component, but I like the fact that I'm gonna actually have a teacher manual, not something that I have to print out because when I have to print out stuff, then there's complaints about how much paper we're using. So the kids actually have a math textbook and so many of the components Actually, not so many. All of the components are there. The manipulatives, the assessments, there's ideas and resources for differentiation, uh, games, math workshops. So I'm really excited because over the years I've purchased so many materials myself because the curriculums that oftentimes uh, public schools choose to use don't really have everything that you need. I have spent so much money on teachers pay teachers, making games, printing out things, laminating things, only for there to be a complaint that I'm not using the things provided by the school district, which I don't feel like are super kid friendly. So I'm just happy to have all of that there. And uh, I just can't wait to play on the website and get my login and all that. I'm really, really excited about that. I mean, I go back to work on the 18th. That's in a week, basically. And I just cannot believe how fast uh, the summer has gone. Maybe it's been six weeks, but it just feels like it has really flown by, which, you know, the summer really isn't as long as, as we think it is. A lot of people are like, oh, teachers get their summers off, but we do a lot of planning during the summer. And the only reason why I couldn't do too much planning is because I'm not having a traditional classroom the way that I have in the past. And we had a new curriculum that I had to take a training for, but now I've got a better idea. I have ordered some things on Amazon. Well, I can do a video on that to show you some of the things that I've ordered for my classroom. Anyway, I'm taking this Bill Nye uh, Pretty Pink Powder. The only, I love this powder, but the only thing that I hate about it is that it has these holes in the top. And I mean, it's like a salt shaker. So like you're putting out so much and then you can't put it back in. So I think I'm gonna move it to a different component, but I'm just gonna use my sponge and you know, put this on the under eye. I have been using this all the time. Before that, I was using the Rare Beauty Powder, which I still love, but right now I'm in love with the pink powder trend. So I'm gonna just stick to that. I really love this powder. It looks great even you know, after a long day. This was on Amazon and it might've been like 19 bucks. It's cheaper than the Patrick, what's his name, Patrick Star, the one size. It's cheaper than that one. So I wanted to try that for my first pink powder and there's so much that comes in this. So yes, I love it. I just don't like the salt shaker method but this is really nice. So yes, school is starting and actually right now they're having like this thing for, well, it's not for new teachers, but at my pizza, but I was like, I really just feel chatty and I'm going to be back at work soon enough. So I skipped out on that. Plus I don't need to buy any pizza. Like not because I can't eat it, but I have so much food here and groceries are so expensive. I'm going to be making the most out of my grocery shopping. So I think after this, I'm going to uh, make my, my traditional lunch salad. 
and I'm like in love with salads right now. This is my iconic London So Cheeky that I feel like I talk about all the time. And I'm just taking this brush from Baddington and I'm just gonna put some of that on for my uh, blush and highlight today. I love this, like it just goes so well with this like flush pink look. All right, so let's get into what I really wanna talk about. And what I really wanna talk about is how I've been doing with adopting new habits this summer how I feel like that's going and like how I'm feeling mentally. So I just wanna say that if you have had trouble with building good habits and staying consistent with them, that Atomic Habits book by James Clear has really changed my life. I actually just bought a hard copy because I'm not even done the book, but I'm almost done. So everything that I've taken from that book has really, really helped me already in such a short time span. So I ordered a hard copy so that I can go back and reread and highlight certain things. I like hearing it because I'm able to kind of listen in the car and kind of really get through chapters where I'm not having to break it up so much, but I also need the visual and the words so I can go back and like repeat some of the statements and look at some of the chapter summaries and concepts. So the hard copy was necessary for me to have as well. But that book, I feel like over the summer in this short period of time has helped me to really build habits and stick with them. For example, I feel like I'm going to the gym forever at this point. But when I, I thought about it, I'm like, Kara, it's only been a month, like chill out. But the fact that I went to Vegas, I didn't really work out there. The last day I did take a walk. It was just busy. But as soon as I got back Monday, I was back at the gym. Whereas in the past, a trip like that would have really thrown me off because I was on a little exercise kick before I went to Vegas back in March to see Dr. Ash. And when I got back, it was like I had never worked out. I just completely stopped. So I was really happy to see that. I've also built some really good organizational habits. For example, not leaving dishes in the sink at night. And actually that started from Mel Robbins because she talked about not bringing like last night's business into today. And so no matter what I do, I have been making sure that that sink is clean and it feels so good waking up in the morning and having a clean sink. It is so simple, but it just helps with that concept of ease and starting off the morning and not having to deal with like, oh, damn, I should have did this last night because you are bringing the past into the present, you know, instead of me just going in and doing what I need to do. I've also been making sure that my gym clothes are out. My bag is ready. My water bottle is ready. I sleep with that by my bed anyway because I try to have water on hand at all times now and that the boys clothes are ready. All of those things have made the morning super smooth and my mornings were pretty smooth before during the school year, but not, not like it is now. Like they are super smooth. Everything is out even down to the socks. I used to just leave the socks out and like, oh, we'll figure that part out. But it is a complete setup for the morning. And that makes me really happy. I've also become super organized with meal planning. I started this before reading the Atomic uh, Habits book, but keeping the calendar updated is something that I've made sure that I've done while I've been reading this book. So it's just an Amazon calendar that's magnetic that goes on the fridge. Over the weekend, I list what we're going to have each day. I have a list underneath there for things that I need from the grocery store, maybe things that we've run out of. Uh, it has important dates. It has been a godsend really. And I know a lot of these things may seem like common sense, but for me, I feel like I've really gotten off track. So some of the things that may be common sense to one person haven't been common sense to me. It's just been another thing like, oh, I got to do the calendar. I got to do this. But what I realize is all that stuff, if you don't have a habit or a routine, it just piles up for me. My anxiety takes control when I'm overwhelmed and I'm just running around flustered. And I'm, I'm done with that. I, I've said that I'm done with it. And I totally meant it. Let me get back to the makeup for a second. I am going to take this NARS primer uh, to prime my eyes. And then I'll tell you a little bit about the palette. So the calendar has been working. It has really kept me on track. And that is something that I'm going to keep up with during the school year. 
I really needed even more during the school year because I haven't had work to put in the mix yet. And when work comes back into the mix, some of the habits that I've built and routines are going to have to change some. So there will be an update to that. But for right now, that's what's been working. I think the feeling of ease and being proud that I stuck with something is also what is keeping me going with the calendar, the gym and all of that. Because y'all, I just know like in the past when I have not seen the results with anything, it could be the gym it, with anything. I just kind of give up. And, you know, a lot of these things that I want and that I'm trying to accomplish in my life are going to take time. I just realized, Kara, you have to be gentle with your body as it's changing. Prime example, I am going to see Beyonce and I had this really cute outfit idea in my head and I ordered it. I put one of the pieces on and I'm totally uncomfortable in it. Like I don't feel like my body looks good in it, like in this area, at least not yet. I was like a little disappointed, but I'm like, you know, Kara, you'll get there. Like give your body some grace while it changes for you because you're your body is working you are working it and you are doing different things let's be real you have only been working out this summer and this summer when I say this summer I mean July because that's when Marky started going to camp he started July 5th so here it is August 9th and I'm feeling like I should have like all these changes but the reality is is that a lot of changes whether they are physical or mental they happen inside before you can start seeing the change physically. My commitment to being organized and wanting to change habits and change my lifestyle and have ease and all of that, that came with a mental decision. My house is still not where I wanted to be, but as I continue to implement things, I'm going to see that mental change realized. That is one thing that I think we should all remember. A lot of inner work, that's exactly what it is and we don't see it. So I was like, you know what? Let's come up with a plan B for your outfit. Like, it's okay. Like, before I just would have been so down, like, damn. But I'm like, no, girl. Like, don't worry about these little rolls right here. Like, you're working on that. It's one thing if I'm not, but it's another thing if I am. And it's not just the, the exercise. It's also the food. You know what I did? I got right on Amazon and I ordered, I mentioned in a video, uh, my Beyonce eyeshadow video, the Alien Superstar t-shirt is black. It's got a little logo here. It's like Beyonce neon green on the back. I actually have some neon green Ivy Park socks that I might put on with my uh, Adidas shell toes, some jean shorts to keep it pushing. Like, here's my thing. I'm going to that concert to have fun and dance and impress myself. I'm not going for anybody else. I'm totally fine with that outfit. I love t-shirts, you know. I am really excited. Amazon will be here tomorrow and I have to get a new clear bag. I got a black one because I had a white one before. Like all this stuff is returnable. So it's just like, okay, like plan B, let's keep it pushing. Let's talk about this palette real fast. So this is the Gemini 2 palette from Melt. And this palette was a bit of a disappointment to me because a lot of these shades look the same. Like all of these shades kind of look the same on the eye and then these kind of look the same. So I wanted to try it out again. I did change out this shade because I just felt like I did not need another pinky matte. It was just it wasn't doing anything for me. So I did put this bronzy shimmer in place of the original uh, Bella shade or Bella. So yeah, I'm going to be using that today. And I'm going to start with Ladylike and I'm using a BK Beauty A503 brush. I'll zoom in in just a little bit because I mean the makeup's not really the thing here. So yeah, I was just like, Kara, stop being so hard on your body. Like, don't do it. Don't do it. Because... I know how that can make me feel and then I'll start obsessing about it and I'm not doing it because there is really nothing wrong with my body at all. Like there's nothing wrong with it. Yes, I could lose weight. Okay. But you're working on that. Like I'm doing research. I'm in the gym. I am feeling in a good mental space because before, honestly, I have been walking around functionally depressed. Let's just say what it is. I feel like a lot of us walk around that way 
and just being an autopilot. And I am done with that. It's the whole concept of like, do you want to survive or thrive? I feel like I was just surviving. And I don't think I'm thriving yet, but I'm headed in the thriving direction. And that really makes me really, really happy. I'm going to go into Hemelis, which is this one. So that's how I'm feeling about exercising. And I'm going to start looking at a possible schedule. I'm definitely not going to be able to go Monday through Friday because I do have meetings after school and, and things like that. And I'm most likely not going to be able to go in the morning, but I'm going to just look at other ways I can implement my exercise routine during the school year because people's schedules change and you have to adapt. I'm looking forward to the challenge of figuring this out because I am at the point now where I am ready to schedule my life around the exercise because this is so important for me mentally. The physical is going to come, but the mental piece is extremely important for me because your mental health is everything. Like nothing is going to happen for you if you are not in a good mental space or for me, nothing's going to happen for me if I'm not in a good mental space. And that's where I'm at as far as the exercise and giving my body grace and just appreciating that my body is getting through these workouts. Yeah, Kara, you know, you may not be where you want to be, but your body is moving. Your body is stepping up to the challenge. And that is what I'm saying to myself. Like that positive self-talk. Talk to yourself nice is not just an outro. It's how I know I need to be treating myself. I'm the only me that there is and we need to treat ourselves that way. So that's a nice little gradient right there. I'm gonna go into Love Sick, which is this deeper shade and let's see what that's gonna look like. I'm gonna just take this brush. I'm not sure who it's by, but it's another tapered blender and it's a little smaller. I'm just gonna tap it in here and let me know how you felt about this Gemini 2 palette as well. I think I do like Gemini 1 better, but I do love these shades. So overall, health-wise, I've been doing well. The other thing that I've been making sure that I do is take my medicine and my vitamins. I have been pretty consistent. Sometimes with the supplements, it's tough because I feel like I'm always taking them and I don't want to take them all at one time. So sometimes I do forget. But as far as like my major like medications that I need to take, I've been great with that. And what I do is when I put the boys allergy medicine out, Marky's medicine, then you take yours too. So I have just uh, stacked that habit onto something else I do every morning. Stop waiting to do all the things for yourself at the end. No, when you have nothing left. Nope, you put their medicine out, you put yours out as well. So I've been doing well with that. And then with some of my supplements, you have to take them with food and that's what I need to get better with. I've been intermittent fasting, so I haven't really been eating until 11 or 12. Usually I try to make sure I'm not eating closer than 12 hours from the night before. So like, let's say I stop eating at 10 at night for some reason I had something late, then I definitely won't eat until 10 the next morning. And from my research, it says that a 12-12 fast can still have benefits with weight loss. 16-8, um, I guess, is optimal, but sometimes it's 15-9 for me. You know what I mean? I just think it's important to allow your body the chance to digest the food that you had the night before. You know, it's not always the same, but I am consistently intermittent fasting. Like, and I'm getting hungry now because it is what it's. <laughs> it's almost so warm. I've gotten used to that and I'm really proud because I've had failed attempts at intermittent fasting and failed attempts with dieting. I did keto for a few months and that just wasn't very reasonable for me because I like fruit. So that just wasn't going to work. I'm going to go into Bella or Bella, which is the shimmer that I added. And I'm just going to stick this on the lid. I'm not sure where this shimmer came from. I really couldn't tell you. So let's talk about food. Oh my gosh, food. Cause I have been going through some food changes as well. So I've mentioned in some videos that I stopped eating all meat and then dairy as well, but not seafood. So it was more like pescatarian. I was just doing different things like just to see because Food really affects my 
mental health and just how I feel. And I noticed that when I ate certain things, I would have this blah, heavy feeling. And it wasn't that I ate too much of it. It was a average amount, but I don't like that feeling. I remember when I was younger, like Thanksgiving and Christmas, I just wanted to eat until I, I could burst and I would just get multiple plates and I cannot eat like that anymore. It just does not feel good. And I'm not a kid. Like I can't just go lay down and chill out. I have other commitments and obligations and the boys and things like that. And I don't really like to eat to the point where it's like, oh, now I need to lay down. You know, I don't. I don't know. That doesn't make me feel good. The stopping of the meat and the dairy and stuff wasn't always going to be a permanent change, but I just wanted to see if I felt any different. And I haven't been eating like red meat for a while, but I think I am going to stay away from the red meat. I really enjoy plant-based foods. So that was not an issue. The only issue I really had was with cheese. And you know what I'm going to say about that? I was eating a lot of plant-based cheese and, and vegan cheese. I think that that cheese, like I don't, there's an aftertaste in some of them and the way that the plant-based cheese melts, I don't like how it tastes. Processed food is processed food, whether it's vegan, plant-based or whatever. So my goal is I'm going back into Hamela's with this, um, alien cosmetic shader. My goal is to just eat more clean. And when I say clean, what I'm talking about is trying to eat food more in its natural state. The less processed, the better. Doesn't mean that I'm not going to eat any processed food ever. Absolutely not. But it does mean that I'm going to try to do more things myself. I've been shredding my own cheese so that I don't have the additive that's uh, put on the shredded cheese. Does that mean I'm not going to eat shredded cheese ever again? No, but I am going to cut back. I'm going to do less of the ground turkey. And I was thinking about like grinding up my own chicken breasts and making patties and burgers and things for the boys. From all the documentaries I've been watching, like all this processed food is really impacting us. And I know that I see that in Marky especially. And I also just see how much our American culture really pushes like fast food and processed food. Like when we went to Vegas, August was so pumped. He was like, can we please get Popeye's for lunch? And I'm like, you can have anything. Like we have Popeye's at home, but I don't let them eat that. So it's like, that was a treat. And I let them have the Popeye's. And you know, I'm just like, there is more to life than Popeye's. I'm not saying it's not good. I'm just taking the shade on my, that was on my lid and putting it in the inner corner. Yeah. But they were just so happy and that was like a treat, but they are so into like the fast food and I'm just, I'm just so over it. August did start eating green beans lately and I was really happy to see that. We're growing our own mushrooms right now because I just thought it would be nice for them to be a part of something that they can harvest and actually eat. So my goal now is to eat in a more clean way. I'm gonna still have to do my liner and um, mascara, but I don't wanna lose my train of thought and figure out a lipstick. That's what I'm shooting for. And I felt really good about it. And the other thing is that at my age, I need a lot more protein. When I looked at my macros, I'm not even eating half of the amount of protein that I should be getting for my weight at my age. I was talking to my sister. I'm like, how are we going to get all this protein? Like right now it's saying like 123 grams. And I'm like, at some point, like the protein that I'm eating, I get so full. I'm like, I can't even eat anything else. But after talking to people and doing some research, strength training and protein are going to be really important for me to see the changes in my body that I want to see. And my go-to was always to do 30 minutes on the elliptical, 15 minutes on the treadmill, like cardio, cardio, cardio. But all this time, I'm not really seeing any changes, but I am going to be shifting. And I've already started shifting the bulk of my workout routine 
into the strength training and making sure that I'm eating the protein so that I am like getting lean and building that lean muscle. It's not just cardio, cardio, getting steps. It's not just that anymore for me. Whereas when I was younger, that was enough. Like I could just do my fitness pal, looking at the calories in and how much I was burning and the weight would just come off even after I had my kids. But now it's not working like that. So that is something that I'm paying attention to. I told you all that I've cut back on drinking. That's another habit that I've stuck with. And this is the longest I've stuck with it, like not drinking during the week. Now, if I go to lunch or something like that and I want to have some wine or something like that, yes, I'm not being like that with myself. Like yesterday, Ariel came over and we had not been together. I mean, don't get me wrong, we just got back from Vegas. But like we used to hang out during the week all the time because we lived together. And she's like, we have to decide together. Like, are we gonna have a glass or two of wine? And we did, and it was fine. Today I'm back to being dry until Friday. Like I'm not holding myself to that, but I know that what I was doing before was just too much. So I believe I'm going in a really good direction. I'm I'm so excited for where things are going and what the future is gonna hold. I do think that the vision board is really helping me. I told you about my mushrooms. I've ordered three house plants and a hydroponics garden. So I wanna thank Lock Maiden for recommendations on house plants and Jamie, she's got a hydroponics uh, garden. And then I just wanted to do the mushrooms cause I love mushrooms and my sister does too. So I got her some and they're already starting to sprout. I'm already just seeing things that are on my vision board just happening and it's probably because the vision board is in front of me a lot and I'm looking like are you still aligned with your goals are your activities putting in votes for the person that you want to be or are they putting votes somewhere else I can honestly say yes my activities are putting votes towards the person that I want to become. And I'm really happy with the progress. So I'm hoping that if you were inspired by the vision board video and you're thinking about making one that you go for it, the changes aren't always huge. You know, they may be small, but no matter how small the change is, I'm going to celebrate that win because that's going to continue to make me feel successful, to keep me consistent and to keep me going. But we have to celebrate those small wins, y'all. Like life is crazy. There's so much craziness going on. We have to celebrate the small wins. And honestly, they seem small, but they're not. Adapting new habits, that's not easy. And I can't say that I may not fall off, but I have this video, I have this feeling as motivation to continue on. I'm just gonna get some lipstick and liner mascara and I'll be back to wrap up this video. I'm back with the finished look. Let me zoom in really fast. Let me know what you think. For liner, I use the Victoria Beckham shade Bordeaux. And then for lipstick, I'm wearing Lisa Eldridge Velvet Enchantment. So mm, let me know what you think. Mm -hmm. Whatever, okay. I didn't use any foundation, so I mean, what do you expect? That's it for this video. I may have sounded a little bit all over the place because I just had a lot of thoughts, even though I tried to outline them in my phone. But I just wanted to give you an update on where I am and how I'm feeling. And I would love to know where you are and how you're feeling. I also just want to say that we in this community have connected about you know this topic in so many different ways so i just want to say like, keep going keep pushing you fall off just get back on like don't be too hard on yourself we have to just keep going and lean on each other for support because living is not easy changing a life or transforming a life when you've been living a certain way for a long time is really not easy. I recognize that I have had so many thoughts and epiphanies lately because I'm not working right now. And what that says to me is you are not giving yourself the time that you think you are to reflect and really look back on what's going on in your life while you're working. It's too much. And I have to flip that. Like work is very important. It is my livelihood, but my real livelihood 
is where I am mentally. And I have to figure out a way that during the school year, I'm able to sit down, process, look at things for what they are and make whatever moves or changes that I need to do then instead of waiting for it to all hit me in the summertime. I can't take too much of that. It's overwhelming in a way, but I am realizing like, here, you can't change everything at once. Let's just, you know, take what we can take little pieces and change certain things but there's so much i want to change and there's so much i want to do it's just not realistic what's more realistic for me is working on things constantly you know not just one time a year for like six weeks because it's really maybe six weeks that's not going to be enough time now summer's flown by and i don't want to say because it's not true that i don't have anything to show for it a lot of the work is in inside right now and I just want to say that to you. The inner stuff is going to be the biggest change that's going to happen before you see things on the outside. But I'm feeling it. And that's that's what I love. I love that I'm feeling it. And if I feel it and I believe it, then I'm going to do it. And my kids are going to see it, too. And I think they are. So I'm really proud of myself and I'm proud of y'all. And I just want to say keep going. And that's it. That's it. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another one today. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure that you're being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay safe. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Oh,